a professor at the University of Denver. I'm not a visual artist per se. Uh, my wife, Sunny, has one of the pieces in this exhibit. I'm mostly a writer and wordsmith, uh, which always accompanies the presentation of visual art in my mind. But at the same time, I live and breathe art. I consider it the X factor in the self-satisfied hurly-burly of today's distraction-driven social world. I yearn for art as a porpoise yearns after a long stint in its underwater netherworld for art and for sunlight. And so I want to talk about the show as a whole, what I think we should take away from this idea of presence. In philosophy, when I teach, presence is invariably intertwined with the sense of absence. To be is to always be perceived against the background of not to be, and as, as is summed up in Hamlet's famous question. For the famous philosopher Georg Hegel, who essentially transformed Western thinking in the 19th century, every statement of what is requires us to say what is not. Absence is a faithful and intimate lover who waits for presence as it arrives home. But in the realm of the religious, and in that nebulous area we term spirituality, presence can equally signify something that seizes or seizes us or confronts us unexpectedly, like an afternoon thunderstorm or an angel that stands before us without anticipation in the doorway. The same is true of absence. One can, at unscripted moments, experience a profound sense of emptiness, an indication that the bottom is truly dropped out of things, or that even that God is dead. Jesus' cry at the most abject moment of his torture and humiliation on the cross cries, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This kind of abjection summarizes what absence implies just as the absence of being, but as the absence of everything by which the human spirit defines itself. It is the dread of pure nothingness, the act of power of non-being. The interplay of presence and absence, therefore, is not just the way the world is or seems to be. It's found most explicitly as an intensity that throws into stark relief the vastly different directions in which our lives, emotions, and aspirations might go, from confidence to depression, from joy to suicidal wishes, from a simple affirmation of who we are and what we see to profound doubts about the meaning of all and the nature of the world itself. The question of presence comes down to the question of the spiritual in our but it also comes down to a recognition that there is something mysterious living, surviving, and embodied in what appears through every act of artistry. Art is about making visible what we cannot see. It's about, in many ways, what we refuse to see. In our smug, secular world, we often refuse to see what really gives meaning, what really challenges us to drop our preoccupation with Twitter, Twitter transactions and microbreweries. Art is about making presence present in a most unfamiliar way, but ultimately in a most fulfilling way. The poet Wallace Stevens said art was like a pheasant disappearing into the underbrush. See if you can follow the flashing tail into the underbrush as, as, you, as you view this collection of wonderful paintings.